of the devil upon, upon your life in Jesus name every spiritual every spiritual marriage that is working against your physical marriage be broken right now in Jesus' name. Oh yeah, Why can't you say big amen? Hey, say shamila. Every spiritual marriage. That is working against your physical marriage. Be broken right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every fibroid, the spiritual husband has planted into your womb be consumed by fire in Jesus' name. Be consumed by fire in Jesus' name. Every weapon that spiritual husband and wife is using against your life. Be broken right now in Jesus' name. The weapon of spiritual husband be consumed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be consumed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shall be where with you in Jesus' name. Shall be with you in Jesus' name. Oh yeah, line Set a place. The spirit husband and wife. That's sleeping with you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Holy Ghost fire. Set a place. Oh yeah, spiritual That sleeping with you. Set them a place. 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 And I command right now. You spiritual husband. Inside this body. Come out! You spiritual wife inside this body. I command you right now. Come out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Because you have answered our prayer. For we pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us be seated. Amen. Amen. Open your Bible to the book of Isaiah 34. Thirty-four. Thirty-four. I am reading verse 14. The wheat priest of the desert shall also meet with Jakas, and the wheat goat shall bleed to its companion. Also, the night creation shall rest there. Awon eran iju ati awon owawa ni yo pade ati satire kan yo ma ko si ekeji re iwin yo ma gbe ibe pelu yo si ri bi isin mi fun ara re I welcome all of you to this great service 
And also welcome all of you that, are, that you are watching us through social media to this great service. Last week I began to seek that I began to speak about about this great topic. Victory over spiritual husband and spiritual wife. Or victory over spirit husband and spirit wife. Part two. A package. The meanness of spiritual husband or wife is one of serious problem confronting people. Such people live a life of frustration. As shall be seen later in this teaching. The enormity of this problem is such, is, is such that it appears insurmountable. And I want to tell you this morning that the Lord Jesus Christ wants to set you free from demonic oppression. The Lord, want to, the Lord wants to set you free from the oppression of spirit husband or spirit, spirit wife. The Bible says Jesus came to yes, set the captives free. Today if you are in the in bondage, that Lord will set you free in Jesus' name. I say that Lord will set you free in Lord Jesus' name. Lord Jesus, in this Monday, we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. The hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages of for our glories. When you are listening to me, you are listening to the word to the wisdom of Almighty God. The wisdom that comes directly from the throne of Almighty God. Today, I pray once again, those of you that are in bondage of spiritual husband or wife, you are free in Jesus' name. You are free in Jesus' name. Who is a spiritual spouse? A spiritual spouse is an illegal partner. Partner that you. And claims you are its husband or wife. It fights any woman being who attempt to be in love with you. Her name is to describe me all the things that I have relationship and the woman being our spiritual husband and wife are acquired. How 
husband acquired a one in indecent dis, uh, dressings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As a Christian. A Christian dressing should be distinguished from the crowd. Dressing locates the identity of the person. A royal is identified by his dressing. The dressing of a child of God must reflect who he or she is. It, it, it must be in a form that will be easily identifiable, not to be confused with a child of the devil. Please, when you get home, read Isaiah chapter 3, from verse 16 to 24. And the water by the lake, I wear Isaiah, the The text tells in Isaiah 3 that the dressing of the daughter of Jerusalem became an abomination to the Lord. I also in the way I say, you can tell you, we pay in Mura Woman Jerusalem. Jerusalem, oh, yeah, I'm opening Jerusalem. I'm opening Jerusalem, oh, yeah, oh, Tico, but you mean what you are long and cast their destruction. It was in fire, Pano, show you one effect of careless dressing. Ah, can you, ma, tea, ah, you mura, so load it, your man, Shenina, any, it is an abomination to God. It can cause us to sin. It can lead to bondage. Our spiritual husband and wife acquired. Having a section in any part of your body. Ah, can you hear me? Bare, Having satanic property in your house. Foundation from the wound. Immoralities. Generation inheritance. Through the source your mother got you from. If you dedication to idols. If you confinement. My stupidation. The place your mother went when you were when she was carrying you in a womb. That's how we enter into we entered into cage of spiritual husband or wives. But today, the Lord is here to set you free. The power of Holy Ghost is Holy Ghost is here to destroy the seed. 
or spiritual husband or wife in your life in Jesus name the activities of spiritual husband and spiritual wife in the life of men inability to get married, married for a long time a single lady had been in a relationship for five times that was leading to marriage. But all the five, five fiancés will call it off. Or not a spirit husband has been attacking the man who proposed to her. Meanwhile, she later met a born again, a vibrant child of God, a Christian, full with fire, full with fire and the anointing and the power of the Holy Ghost. This man had a tree in which another man appeared and told him to leave his wife alone. This young man knew he was not in any relationship with any other person except this lady. So the dream was very real and very clear this man called the lady and he, he narrated everything to her he told her everything and this man took that lady to the man of God and they prayed the prayer of deliverance for that lady. And that man, that lady was delivered. Then both get married with children. Today, the Lord will set you free. The Lord will set you free. I met a lady some years back. By that time, she was around 41 years old. She confronted me and she told me that by, by now, I'm 41 years. And I, I, I haven't seen any man propose with me. I haven't seen anybody, that, any man that proposed me in marriage. And, and by the grace of God, I, I, that day I was, I was seen through the Spirit. I mean, I, I, I was, I was seen fishing. And I saw that it was a, a, that man, that, that lady had spiritual husband. Okay. And until that spiritual husband departed, they, they, they part from her, she will not have any husband to go to go with her in marriage. And by the grace of Almighty God, I pray the prayer of deliverance for her. I gave her some prayer points. And I told her categorically by that before six months, you shall be wedded. And after two months, she saw me. 
hurry me and he jumped on me oh wa fo mommy he, he, she he jumped on me she oh, jumped on me oh fo mommy she embraced me oh the mommy papa i was ashamed oh you dey at me in the public ni gbangba what is happening with uh, with, with this, this lady you know she am be ni and she and she began to rejoice you know re bere she need do she told me oh wa so fun me that man i'll be expecting oh kun ni na ti mo tin re tin long time ago fun ojo pipe wa ask her oh today he has arrived oh today and by the grace of almighty god as you pass ori of your lord she got married o se igbeyawo and have children o si bi awon omo to agbara olorun we set you free you to asile from the bondage of spiritual husband or wife ku o ninu ide oko orun ati aye you shall be free in jesus name oh di omi ni aloruko jesus Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Another one. Oh, Mira. They cause confusion in in who? Wo ma nda rukeru do sile ninu ile. They cause confusion in O. Wo ma nda ija sile ninu ile. The activities of spiritual husband and wife awon ise okoro wife in the life of men ninu aye awon eniyan they cause confusion in homes won ma da idaru da po sile ninu ile a fi a spiritual spouse is most likely to lead to problem in any home ni ni oko run ta be aye orun o le ja si ki o faruke ru do sile ninu igbeyawo please listen women in this area and you be ni e te ti sile this is this is because they cause the wives to disrespect disrespect their woman husband won ma mu ki obirin ki o ma fo oju tembelu ki o ma bo wo fun oko re please women you need to walk in this area and you be ni e jo won e je ki a sise le eleyi lori when you don't honor your husband nigba ati o ba wa ati o bu ola bi bowo fun oko ti o fun you respect your husband ti o bowo fun oko re it means o tu mo si something is wrong with you e ko kan se o ni it means o tu mo si wipe there is a power that, 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 that is pushing you against the will of your husband or against the authority of your husband it means there is a power that make you rebel against your husband hallelujah hallelujah i've i've seen a lot of women on mountain on the mountain of prayer mo ti pade on prayer monte ori si ni si awon okunrin lori oke adura they they were rooming on the mountain of prayer and ti won wa lori oke ti won yira they began to pray weeping and do such such things won lo lati gbadura fun awon kan won yi why kini di they thought that prayer can do everything won gba gbo wi pe adura lo le se o gbogbo true prayer can do everything lo to adura le se o gbogbo i can do something prayer can do certain things adura o le se o gbogbo but let me tell you this 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 uh, this morning sugbo e je kin so fun yin ni owuro yi humility we do let, let me tell you, let me let, let me say like this prayer cannot do what humility we do adura ko le se ohun ti irele o le se when 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 agai nigba ti agari disrespected amon sera ti o se arifi si oga re ti se sera and sera drove her out sera si le jade sera told abraham sera so fun abraham i don't want to see this lady in this house again mi o fe ri omo bire ninu ile imo drive her out of this out and his son and her son 
And Abraham obeyed. Abraham was the Then Agai left that house. Agai she died in the When when she was in the bush with her son. She began to cry. I don't want to see my, my son die. Because that boy was testing. And, and God opened the eyes of a guy. And he saw the angels of Almighty God. And the angel of Almighty God showed him, showed him, showed her a way. And she fetched the water. She gave it to her son. And the angels of God told her guy. Go back to your mother. Father, so do you are. Go and humble yourself before her. You want lucky or she rather let's see any white jury. Go and humble yourself. You want lucky or rather let's see. Put on the garment of humility. You want be a assure if Suru at you are well. Drive out the spirit of arrogant out of your life. You want to let that day go back. Me, I get that. Yeah, me, I need that. The angels did not, did not say, I guy. Go to the prayer Monday and begin to pray and fast. Go and spend 21 days on the prayer Monday. Go and, go and, go and spend 40 days in the prayer Monday. Angel did not say that. Go and humble yourself before your mom. And she went. She did what the angel of Almighty God oh, told her to do. Back on now, be angry alone with your pala chef on that issue. When you disrespect your husband, you will not receive his favor. You will not receive his favor. Oh, lady, oh, you are a lot of A woman may fail to submit to her husband, disrespecting his authority. And challenging him at every chance she gets. Opini only shake, better gas your correct, your matter, bafu, your simata, passing your bow, fiatilana, so bafi lefum. Because there is a demon that wants her husband to drive her out of that house. And me, also you want to let you put your correct, let that the crown in Lena. So they cause confusion in us. I'm talking about the activities of spiritual husband and spiritual wife in the life of men. Sudden, sudden, another one, sudden death of a spouse. When there is a presence of spiritual spouse, a lot of misfortunes will eat you in your marriage. Some spiritual spouse, spouses are so jealous and wicked to the extent that they kill every woman being that try to marry you or have any affair with you. I won't call room, you know, one puru jai to jabi be one shit on that mukro, you won't pa go bang to buff a jai do yeah do wa ni inu be ya wuna ki won't pa wan. A lot of untimely death of the husband caused by spiritual wife. And a lot of a lot of untimely death of wife caused by spiritual husband. And why? 
You need to pray fervently. You need to destroy their work in your life. I am they divert, they divert the victim to a wrong marriage. Partner who will may treat may I treat there, may treat him or her. Wa ma dari awon ti won ba gba mu sinu igbe yawo ti to ti ko tona e ti won ti ma fi ya je aya tabi oko to ba wa ni ko be prevent their victim from from lasting joy of a good marriage. For, sorry, they prevent the victim from tasting the joy of a good marriage. They cause conflict in marriage and may frankly cause spouse to destroy each other's. They cause miscarriage. They plant fibroid into the womb of their victims. Losses of desire for your partner constant quarreling. They block good things from coming to the family. Using the image of the wife to attack the husband. Let me say something in this place. When I, when I got married, within three months, my, my marriage began to sick. Nearly gotten to be broken. Why? And this is the reason. When I slept, in my revelation or in my dream, when I, when I saw Muscredi, Muscred pursuing me, if I began to fight that Muscred, or I removed that cloth that, that Muscred wore. When, when I saw inside, then it was my wife. When I started fighting that person, and I conquered that person, when he turned, to turn. To my wife. You dear me. So I began to think. More This woman is a wish. Open ye, I genuine. Not knowing to me. Lime we pay that it was the is the what it was the spiritual husband that behind the situation. We pay your call, no? Oh, you what? So I've been thinking how I will die for her. But it is not possible. Because I'm a man of God. But one day, the Lord came in. The intervention of Almighty God. I received the intervention of Almighty God. And I heard the voice of Almighty God. He called me. 
Elikana. Elikana. You are fool. Oh, Mugania. Can't you see the power behind these atrocities? Hello, It is as bad. Is you is it one that put on the face of your wife to attack you? Oh, no, but you are your lati do you? And for sorry, to me, shall free you of the attack this man. You know, I will run your wall, lati do you, Yakoko. This one has it, it has scattered a lot of home. You know, you ought to two up. He has scattered a lot of marriage. Let your mind be at peace. The Lord will arrest that power in Jesus' name. The, the power that, that is using your image to attack your benefactor, to attack your wife, or to attack your husband. The Lord will arrest that power in Jesus' name. The Lord will arrest that power that you see your image to attack your benefactors, your destiny ever. The Lord will arrest him in Jesus' name. The activities of the work of spiritual husband and wife in the life of men. I want to share a call. I be na yaru ni na yam o kore. The Lord will set you free in Jesus' name. Today I will stop in this place. How to offer, how to overcome spiritual husband and spiritual wife. May God bless you. Bless His word. For the salvation of our soul. Rise up. Pray. Rise up. Every spiritual husband that is using your face or your image to survive. Oh, Every spiritual wife in Jesus' name. Every evil power pressing you in the midnight. I call the fire of Almighty God upon that power. Fire of God, consume them! Consume them! Consume Every property of spiritual husband and wife in your life. In your life. Cause fire! Every evil things that spiritual husband has deposited into your body. Every evil thing that spiritual wife has deposited in your body. Cast fire. Come out. In the mighty name 
mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every spiritual husband or spiritual wife oppress you. Torment you. In the night. Today, I terminate your work upon the life of this person that is saying amen. Be terminated! A lot of women spirit in spiritual rare. That is troubling your life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Be wasted. Be wasted. Be well with you. Be well with your soul. For we prayed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, wherever we are sitting, we can so that the ushers will come and give us an envelope. For those who are watching us from the social media, I want to so ministry by same account. You, you can evangelize through this ministry. By sowing your money into this ministry. Accounts uh, name is Salvation Freedom Apostolic Church. Our account number is uh, 35 Bank. Echo Bank. You will see it being displayed on the, on your screen there. Shall we pray? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the grace you have bestowed upon us to bring all time before you according to your word. You say we are going to rebook uh, divorce. We pray to you, Lord, that you rebook. The, the, uh, the virus upon our handwork in the name of Jesus. Uh, you say you are going to command blessings by opening the doors of heaven to the extent that there won't be any room to accommodate them again in our lives. Pray, bless us indeed in the name of Jesus. Bless us indeed in the name of Jesus. Let them let there be abundant of blessing upon our life in the name of Jesus. For those who want to do but they don't have the strength today, let them be breakthrough for their lives in the name of Jesus. Let there be breakthrough for them in the name of Jesus. Let your blessing come upon our lives. Let there be showers of blessing upon our hand work. In all together. Let us have focus on the ministers, the choir, and the church. We follow as the choir has given us the song. Holy Bala, you're not 
You can worship with us at our city of refuge church. Number six, Borekbo Street. Number six, Borekbo Street. Let's go for King once again. I pray for you as you proceed in this week. God will surely visit you for miracles in Jesus. And the divine potential of Almighty God will be upon your household in the name of Jesus.